Hey guys, this is King Arthur coming here with another video on what's going on in the world of Pokemon Go and other information and guides to the game of Pokemon Go. Before we get into the video, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, make sure you share the video, and also make sure you hit that bell for notifications for when I go live or when I upload videos like this one. So let's get on to the video. Built an empire of stars. Alright, Pokemon Go started community day guy event guy. So yeah, um during this uh if you spoof if you're a spoofer then you can uh play today in uh, either in in the major Asian countries like Japan, South Korea, New Zealand, Australia, you can can even start playing around like maybe four and then or five if you wanna play at five. Which we're gonna play at around five o'clock uh, in today's live stream. Um, so yeah, Starly is coming out finally. I've never gotten this Pokemon as a shiny ever in the game of Pokemon Go in the game of Pokemon the whole entire series. So it's gonna be the first time ever getting it. So like, let's read into the article. Pokemon Go July 2022 Community Day. Focus on Starly, the normal and flying type Pokemon Starly Community Day will feature a heavily increased spawn rate of Starly with an increased chance to find a shiny version of it, as well as a special move for its evolution, Staraptor, to learn. One, our Pokemon Go Starly Community Day guy explains how to find shiny Starly uh, Star Raptors, Meta, Revelance, and how to make the most of your community day. Community day event takes place on July 17th, 2022. That's a Sunday, 11 a.m. all the way to 2 p.m. in your local time. As usual with all community day, you can buy a special Starly community day ticket for $1 to unlock extra special research tasks that award more Starly and candy. How do find how do I find a shiny Starly? Community day events have a heightened shiny rate for featured Pokemon, so if you playing, you should be able to find several shiny Starly. Uh, so like guys, I'm gonna tell you how to find them real fast. You know how like you're just gonna encounter them, catch them and stuff like that. You want more shinies during community day, you just skip all the ones that you're not gonna get. Every, and everything that's not shiny don't catch it I catch every every shiny starly but if you encounter them if you encounter just a regular starly and you're just clicking and clicking just uh go by, by bypass that you have three hours so if you want to take an hour uh you want to take an hour and a half which is half of the uh community day you can take an hour and a half and you probably get like 10 maybe 15 shinies just go around uh, walking around and just clicking and clicking and clicking and then on your second maybe on the second half you can start getting your candies and stuff but the other stuff is just for the first hour and a half i recommend you go and just start looking for the shiny instead of just catching everything and then wasting your time catching you can waste your time catching either at the halfway point or maybe you want to do two hours of shiny catching i mean uh shiny hunting and then the rest is just getting candies if you don't have time to play all day, you can find a shiny starly by popping an entrance and tapping each starly that pops up. The shiny rate on community day is approximately 1 in 25. Let me tell you this. Uh, according to the Silk Road research, so you should find a shiny starly quickly. It's 1 in 25 doesn't mean it's going to be um, 25 checks, so you shouldn't rec get that right. Um, so that's probably wrong. It's, it is 1 in 25, but it's not going to happen in 25 checks, or it might happen in the 4 checks. It might happen in between the time you're checking. So don't rely on that information right there. It's The odds are 1 in 25. That's the odds. Also, with the incense, I have used incense on, on a community day, which was Marie. I only got one shiny 
um, Reap during that community day because I was shadow banned so the only way you could have uh, seen the incense spawn is by walking slow and yeah, I only got one shiny Reap so I didn't have a good day on that so also let's see what community day move does Starly Evolution learn? Evolve Starly into Star Archer to, on Jan, uh, July 17th from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. in your local time to get a fast attack gust. Starly into a fast attack? I thought, what, what, what about the charge attack? Based on past years, if you miss the community day period, you'll likely be able to while you're starting during the December Community Day weekend event to get its move. And also use the Elite TM to change the Legacy Community Day only moves. So you only you can use the Elite TM to change Legacy Community Day only moves. Okay. That's uh, for the information on TM, this part right here. I'm not going to read that though. How does Star Raptor do in battle? Star Raptor has very little relevance in PvE and PvP. Using it in PvP would be a night niche pick and probably not worth investing into it. If you're hellbent on using Star Raptor in PvE raid content, you can set it up with Gust and Brave Bird, but it's a massively outclassed by our other flying types like. Moltres, Yvoto. In addition to this, flying types have little use in raids as there are there aren't many bug or fighting type Pokemon to raid against. In, in either situation, you would typically use other counters like Psychic or Fire type. How do I make the most of Starter Community Day? During the community day event period, XP gain from catching Pokemon will be tripled and catch candy will be doubled. Oh shit, you can double the candy too? Wow, okay. You can use lucky eggs to boost your XP gains even further. Incense and lures will last for 3 hours as well, so you should use those to increase your starly spawn even further if you have the resource to mega evolve aerodactyl pidgeot charizard y kangaskhan or lupini you will also get one extra starly candy per catch due to either normal or flying type so guys i will leave a link to this article in the description and please do if you still have not at the at this end of the video and if you still are at the end of this video Please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, please share this uh, all over, and also hit that bell for notifications if you want to know whenever these types of videos are coming up, and also when my live streams are going up, which I will be doing a live stream today, and I'll see you there. <clears throat> so yeah, see you there, or see you in the next live stream, and this is King Arthur saying, peace out guys, make, make sure to you do all that good stuff. Peace out, guys.